friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. I've spatchcocked a chicken before, so I'm just going to show you how I do it. But this is New Year's Day, and we're having spatchcocked chicken, rice with kale, and stir-fried vegetables for supper. So let me just take you through it. Okay, I thawed this chicken out in salt water, like a brine, but I didn't use boiling brine, it was just salt water. We're going to take the string off that, and let me see if it's actually thawed. No, it's not, but we'll get there. We'll get there. This is going to be hell on my hands. This is my favorite seasoning. I make it myself. It's paprika, smoked paprika, salt, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of pepper flakes, garlic, all the good stuff, hey eh, dear? Now, if I remember how to do this properly, we're going to take this backbone out and we're going to make it into soup anyway. So what we need to do is we need to go, now we'll, let's start by, uh, might have to get Papa to help us with that, but let's get this backbone out first. We're just going to go right up the side of the backbone with a good sharp pair of scissors. Look at that. Almost, and, and this is partially frozen, so it's practically peeling away. Okay, see that? We just want to take this backbone part out. Now you can leave that in if you want. Oh, you're not even seeing what I'm doing here. You can leave that in if you want, but I like to take it out and then just throw it in the crock pot for soup. And then when it, oh, when we're finished with the supper, we'll throw the rest of the bones in. So that's going in the crock pot. What we're going to do is we are going to break, we're going to flatten this out just like this. See how now that taking the backbone out has made our legs easier to do this. And then we're just going to go. Oh. Oh. Okay, hang on. We want to. break this breastbone so that our chicken, there it is, oh, will lay flat. Wow, I'm in way too much pain to be doing it like that. All right, so our chicken is now flat. And I got a lovely gift um, from Briar's boss, boss's family. Let me just wash my hands. I was given this beautiful gift of Le Dolce Vita, organic flavored extra virgin olive oils. So we're going to, hmm, which one? I think, I don't know. There's garlic oil, basil, chili pepper, and rosemary. And I think we're going to stick with garlic. Um, or the chili. You want the chili, dear? Give it some more flavor. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these this oil to prep our to prep our bird for the seasonings. And then we're gonna use it in the if I can even get it open. All right, so we're just gonna do a wee little bit of this. Oh, there's our oven up at 375. And a little bit of oil there. And I'm just going to rub this all in here like that. Can you pass me that piece of paper towel, dear? All right, and now we're going to take our chicken and we're going to cover it in my favorite paprika, smoked paprika, garlic, pepper, and into a 375 degree oven this goes. 
for about 45 minutes. This is our rice. Now I have added, it's not quite cooked, but I've added some dehydrate, I've added some dehydrated powder kale. It's a superstition in my family that you need to eat a leafy green on New Year's Day to ensure money. But this is what we're going to use for the base of our stir fry and the rest will be veg. This was at 375 for about an hour. Look at this guys, how easy this is. Look. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Now this is our rice and kale we cooked in the crock pot with peppers and celery. Peppers, celery, mushroom, onions, and seasonings and it was all stir-fried in garlic oil let's see what Papa has to say about that flattened chicken with stir-fried vegetables and rice happy new year watch it it's hot yeah try the breast because the breast will be the part that would be dry you would think but when you do it this way Happy New Year. Happy New Year, baby. Enjoy.